What's up golfers, welcome back to New Nine Golf. Today I have a video for you guys that's gonna be a nice little stroke to my ego. We are playing the ladies tees or the forward tees, the red tees. I'm gonna be playing with my wife, Jess, and uh, we're gonna see how low we can go. We're playing at the Marina Golf Course in Mazatlan, Mexico. It's been an awesome trip so far. I've been playing the tips all week. My low round is 71, my high round is 77. So I'm hoping today we can go sub, uh, sub 70 and shoot in the 60s. So hopefully the wedges are working, hopefully the putter's working and uh, we're gonna see how low we can go if you haven't already smash subscribe turn on post notifications so you can see all of our videos let's go hit that golf ball okay guys as I mentioned we are playing the marina golf course in Mazatlan Mexico so Jess's parents just started their first year of retirement down here and they're in this golf community of the marina we live in Calgary and it's only a four-hour flight to get down here so we left minus 40 degree weather. That's the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And every day here is 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, we'll have to do a conversion for our US friends to see what that is in Fahrenheit. But I assume it's like in the mid 80s. Every day is sunny. Uh, there's almost no wind. If it rains, it rains for an hour uh, at night. That it's, it's paradise out here. And for us to leave winter and come here, it's been fantastic so we've been golfing this course all week and I've been playing the tips and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to play the forward tees with Jess so she's gonna have to be my caddy today and uh, show me some some lines and some yardage the pins haven't changed that's one thing about this course they leave the pins in the same position for about four or five days and then they rotate them so I'm familiar with the pins but uh, obviously not familiar with the lines so we're gonna try to go low today hopefully the wedge is working hopefully the putter's working and we can go low so uh, we're gonna start off on the first tier let's go so are you going to hit your driver on every hole since it's red to tall or are you gonna bitch out and hit irons <laughs> That's the plan. I'm definitely gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit driver every chance that I get here. So hopefully it stays in play. If not, uh, we'll just be chipping. Hopefully, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna hit driver all day. So let's like get it. going. Okay, let's find the course on the old watch. I got a new golf watch. I got to do a separate video for, but so far it's been awesome. It's the Garmin S42. The video is not sponsored. I just wanted to share that uh, this golf watch has been uh, really good so far. So on my watch. It says, what tees are you playing? I've been playing black all week and now we got to hit the old red tees, red tees. Okay, 275 to the front. Let's hope for the best. Okay, we are off and rolling. So weird to play a course for a week and you have the same target lines on the tee box to now go to a new tee box and have a new target line. Um, the first drive was, it started on line and it just cut a little bit more uh, to the right than I wanted, but we should have a chip, really a chip to get up and down. I think you take every time. So uh, let's get up to the green and uh, see what we can do. Okay, so the keys to success today are gonna be chipping and putting. And I've been doing the worst chipping and putting <laughs> since I got here. So I definitely should have practiced. I didn't roll a putt, I didn't chip anything, didn't even hit any balls on the range. This is vacation golf, we're here to have a good time. We've been up late all night and getting up early to golf. So the keys to success today are definitely chipping and putting. And maybe some tequila? And tequila for birdies. That'll help. Okay, so here is the pin and here's my drive. So almost had the distance, just a little bit too much of a cut. So if we can get up and down here, we'll be starting with a birdie. Okay, par on the first hole. Uh, obviously would have taken a birdie, but uh, I didn't chunk the chip and that was half the battle. <laughs> we'll take a par, it almost feels like a bogey, 270 yard par four, but uh, hopefully we got some birdies coming up for you guys. 
There's just something about golfing with uh, palm trees and green grass that uh, we definitely don't have palm trees in Alberta. So anytime we can golf somewhere with palm trees to me is just like the coolest thing ever. So just wanted to share that uh, this golf paradise is uh, pretty awesome. Okay, normally I'd be happy with a par, but the fact that that was just like a really, really long par three, I'm not ecstatic about getting a par. But it was our warm-up hole. Like I said, we had no warm-up, so we didn't lose a ball, and uh, we didn't bogey. <laughs> it definitely could have been worse. Um, now we got a par three. So uh, one thing I'm wondering, I was thinking about this before uh, we came here, is if I get a hole-in-one on a red tee challenge, does it still count as a hole-in-one? Yeah, why not? What do you guys think? It's still only one shot. In the comments, go in the comments and comment if you think a hole in one on the red tea challenge counts. You have an asterisk beside it, you know, like it's a hole in one, but little asterisk, and you'll have to explain every single time someone asks about it. Like, yeah, I got a hole in <laughs> one, but it was on a red tea challenge, so everything was like 100 yards. Fuck it, I'm counting it. If I get a hole in one, I'm counting it. I'm celebrating. 140. Oh, I had the club. It was just uh, left of the line. I have this weird fear of teeing up wedges. Anytime I have like my gap wedge, even a pitching wedge, I prefer to leave it in the grass. But uh, I know in theory I should probably tee them up. But uh, we hit the greens probably 20 feet, so see what we can do here. Okay, I wanted to show off my new head cover to you guys. This is a cool company called uh, Swag Golf. So this is Ryu. If any of you guys remember Street Fighter, from back in the day. This is their Street Fighter collab. It was one of those games that I always played with uh, my brother and we'd always learn those cheat codes, how to uh, beat each other. So it uh, was just uh, some nostalgia. As soon as I saw it, I said, oh God, I need that uh, Street Fighter cover. So shout out to Swag Golf, appreciate you guys. Hit it, have it. Okay, putter's getting warmed up. Can't be leaving those putts short, especially birdie putts. I wanna go low today, I don't care if I burn it by the hole. That's gonna be my new intention in the next couple holes, so hopefully I can start getting it to the hole. Something I'm trying new this week is I've been playing the TP5. So. Taylor Mane sent me some of these balls, the TP5 picks, and they got little Canada maple leaves all over them. I normally play the TP5X. I prefer a low spinning ball. And uh, these I find don't spin too much off the tee, but with wedges, like a ton of spin. And that's what they're supposed to do. I think it's a soft cover urethane. Oh my God. Jess just dropped a 30 footer for birdie. I should be filming you. I should not even be filming myself. Two under after two. What just, about you? Just legit Safety birdie the first hole. She birdied the first hole and she birdied the second. We're gonna have to change this video to just film you today, I think. Jess is legit two under three. Have you ever been two under through two? I don't know, probably not. Holy. Oh. Sorry, I totally screwed up your uh, talking about your. What a legend. <laughs> two under through two, what the heck? I need to pick it up here. I'm getting pumped by my wife. Too funny. That sounds bad, might have to cut out <laughs> You might have to cut out getting pumped by my wife. Uh, that's, uh, I'm not into that. I don't remember what I was saying because I'm so mesmerized by the two birdies from Jess. I need to pick it up here. Holy crap. 200 through two, Jess. Let's go. Let's go. So yesterday we played in a organized skins game down here in Mazatlan. All these uh, retired guys set up a skins game and they pay birdies obviously. And our group only had, I think, you had one, I had one. one. We had two birdies combined, and I'm not even sure if they held. So Jess was just saying, why didn't we do this yesterday? Yeah. She, would, she would have been up a, probably a hundred bucks in just these last two holes, because those are two, two tough uh, birdie holes. Mm. Oh my God, I just drove to the back tee box. <laughs> <laughs> you get into the habit. You know, I've played this course a bunch this week. I uh, <laughs> went right to the back tee box. Okay, Jess is two under through two. 
and I'm even par through too. So uh, we're gonna have to put the camera back on Jess because uh, she's got a career round going. It's only uh, through two holes. And I'm just here for the ride, so uh, maybe I can just uh, commentate while Jess is playing here. Let's change it up here. Okay, this is a par four, and from the ladies' tee box, it says it's only 250. Yeah, 256. So uh, I'm gonna shoot this with my rangefinder and see how far uh, the pin's playing. Okay, I might have gotten on the green there. This is one of those funny ones where I couldn't quite shoot the pin with my laser. I had like 240 to the front, 270 to the back, so I hit three wood. And uh, I like the line, so if I could be on the green and have a putt for eagle, that would be awesome. So uh, we'll get up there, see how we are, and we'll track Jess as she's two under through two. Any uh, alcohol in that drink? No, just protein smoothie. Protein smoothie. We need to have some birdie juice for uh, oh, yeah. those last two holes. Do you have some birdie juice? I do. Okay, birdie. we'll crack it out and we'll take a shot to, for your two birdies and uh, for all these guys watching. Thank you. Wow, great shot. Okay. So normally we have a flask that we golf with. But anytime we're drinking and we want to bring some home drinks, I know all of you watching have at least brought a, a drink to the course at one time. We, uh, we wanted to get creative and disguise our alcohol. So Jess has this lovely bottle of sunscreen, SPF 50. It's not actually sunscreen, it's vodka. <laughs> so there's vodka in our yeah, sunscreen bottle. That's what we're gonna have to do for birdie juice. Mm, yeah. Oh, and I'm spilling all over the place. So there was oh, never, that's huge. there was never actually any sunscreen in there. You yeah, can buy these, worry. you can buy these off Amazon, and uh, disguise your booze when you bring oh, it to the course. Scary. So, you're welcome. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to Jess. Two hundred through two. I need to fucking pick it up here. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I shot vodka was. Taste delicious. So just before our shot, I showed you guys Jess hitting out of the uh, sand trap fairway bunker. This is where she put it. Nice little uh, 15 footer, 15 footer out of the fairway sand trap. And I did find the green. Here's me. And uh, we got maybe a 40, 50 footer for Eagle. So if we can two putt, we can uh, join Jess on the birdie train. Good bird. Good bird. Okay, we're on the board. Thank goodness. Do two putt birdies feel the same as one putt birdies? Um, Jess just asked if two putt birdies feel the same as one putt birdies. You know, it's tough because we're playing the red tees. <laughs> if it was, uh, you know, like a 310 yard par four that I drove from the tips, I'd be ecstatic with that. But uh, I feel like that's almost, that's almost a par. Okay, we got Jess here for a third birdie in a row. Hey, you got it there. Good on you for getting it there, unlike your husband who <laughs> is a bitch on the putting greens. Oh, Two under through three, let's cool. go. All right. LPGA, uh, Jess is calling. A little dicey out of the fairway bunker. But... Good for you, honey. Thanks. What a par from the fairway bunker. Okay, just two under through three. I'm one under through three. Getting shit kicked by my wife, but I love it. Um, we thought that we should just point out that uh, those vodka shots that we took, it's 8.15 in the morning. <laughs> We're on vacation. Both uh, time and days of the week. Uh, oh, oh, fuck, I'm going to the back tees again. <laughs> Holy crap. We'll get it eventually for like the sixth hole. Like I said, we're on vacation time, so we don't know what day of the week is. Time doesn't matter. The gut and the liver's taking an absolute beating by how much tequila, beer, cerveza, and all that other good stuff we've been drinking down in Mexico. Um, now we got a par four 
297. It's an elevated green. This is a tricky hole. I've had a handful of bogeys from the tips uh, so far this week. So if we can get a birdie, and if Jess can get, oh my God, can you imagine if Jess got a birdie to go three under through four? Holy shit. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Jess has to make a quick pit stop at the Banyos. So I thought I'd uh, go through my bag really quick. I already showed you guys the uh, Ryu putter, or the putter cover. Uh, inside there's my Tyson Lamb. Um, I'm still playing an older dryer, the TaylorMade M3, but we got the LAGP golf shaft in it. These guys have been awesome to us. Best driver shaft I've ever hit. Um, I am actually carrying one extra club, so I'm technically cheating. There's a Callaway 3 wood in here. This guy here that I almost never hit, but being at sea level, I've needed it every round. This is my hybrid, two hybrid. Um, haven't been hitting that. Got a three iron. I'm still playing the uh, Titleist AP2s. I did just order some new irons and some new wedges. Um, I'm playing the Voki, Titleist Voki SM8s, but I am switching. So I'm not gonna give away what I got, but uh, I'm excited to show off the new irons. This towel is another swag towel. Same guys that make the putter cover. It's the uh, king of swag. Just some cool stuff. Got a Titleist bag. Balls are a mixed bag. As you can tell, I'm almost out of balls because that's vacation golf for you. I'm um, rocking a new nine golf glove. This glove's been awesome. This is our first year running, uh, doing a run of gloves. And this glove has lasted me probably 15 to 20 rounds already. And it's just got the very smallest rip in it. So uh, we do have some gloves over at uh, new9golf.com. And we do have a, a ladies prototype. All you ladies, I know I'm sorry that uh, haven't gotten you guys some gear, but Jess is uh, rocking one of our prototype gloves. So if you want, you can go over to new9golf.com. We ship worldwide and uh, the gloves are awesome. And in tw this year, 2022, we got a lot of new stuff coming in stock and I can't wait to show you guys all the new product uh, that we're making for the new nine golf community. So we got the par four, let's go. Okay, so this green's well protected and I hit it like an absolute bitch. But the good thing about missing it when you're playing from the reds is that I should be in theory like almost pin high, but uh, just far to the right. So uh, I short sighted myself, gotta go over a sand trap to an elevated pin, but uh, we'll hope for the best here. And Jess, of course, found the middle of the fairway because she is on fire. Got enough, got enough. Oh, that's okay. No, that's actually going to be I really good. I thought that's what was going to happen. No, that's good. In between clubs. That was a good swing right at the that pin. Safe. All yep. over the pin. Take that. All things considered. Got a big trap in front of me. Didn't want to go in there. And uh, found the green, so we got a birdie putt. I'm more excited about Jess's birdie putt, though. Let's go, Jess. Two pars. I said that when we started that the putter is going to have to be working. The wedge is working. That was actually a really good wedge shot from 60 yards over a bunch of crap. But man, if I can make a 10 footer, I think if all of us can make more 10 footers, we'd be a lot, uh, game. be a lot easier game. We got a par five coming up and I'm excited to hit this tee shot and get out there because I haven't really been able to reach it in two from the tips. And uh, I'm thinking from Reds, we should be able to get there in two. So if we can get an Eagle, that'll get us uh, contending with Jess here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, should be in good shape. Hit a good one. Uh, it says it's only 380. <laughs> 380, I think is what my watch said to the front. Definitely getting there in two. And uh, poor Jess didn't have her best drive. But the way she's playing, I have all the confidence in the world of her making something good here. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. 
So we've been looking for my drive for like the last four minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, I swear I hit the fairway. One of the funny things about playing in Mazatlan or this course is that they water it so much that the ball plugs all the time. So here's my drive. <laughs> Fully plugged. So we're playing lift clean in place because that's obviously not playable. But it's uh, it's been funny playing this week that uh, the golf ball looks like this a ton of the time. <laughs> so we're only 100 and 130 coming in. So hopefully we get a, at least a look at Eagle. So uh, see what we can do. That was horrible. The ground is so wet. I was petrified of taking a big pancake divot. Totally bailed out. Didn't want to hit down on it. Not a good swing. Not our best hole so far. No, we're struggling a little bit. <laughs> this is supposed to be our uh, par five score bowl hole. And uh, Jess has had some trouble out of the fairway and I uh, was only 145 yards coming in and hit just a brutal shot. So we got to pick it up here and get a birdie. Does she like it? Eh. Ooh, might have been long. Man. That feels like a bogey or double bogey or triple bogey, not good. Um, I expect more from myself. What are you gonna do, that's golf, gotta take the good with the bad. The chipping here is probably the hardest thing uh, that's different from home. The grass grows in so many different directions and really eats your club. So I find chipping to just be so, so hard. So it's, uh, I commend people that play in this type of grass because it is not easy. Oh, good try. Okay, the demeanor in the cart has definitely gone down. <laughs> uh, we need to regroup. We need to uh, just take a breath, relax. I had a par, technically. Jess was only a bogey, so Jess is still one under. I'm one under. We're back to even. The match that we're playing, though, I gave Jess seven strokes, so I'm getting absolutely pumped. Seven our match so far. Oh. Seven aside, wow, even worse. <laughs> I see some bicyclists beside us. Uh, these, these golf courses are almost just a walking path for all the locals, which is not a bad gig for them. We got a part three coming up, and uh, we're still chasing that hole in one because I'm counting it. It's like when someone asks you, you know, Did, have you ever had a hole in one? You just say yes or no. They don't say, oh, what tee box were you playing? So we got a chance here. We got a chance. We got to pick it up. Let's uh, yeah. let's recover from uh, from that par five. We just had a slight medical emergency. I'm okay. I didn't die. A bug flew in Jess's eye. We got it out. We got it out though. We did minor surgery. It was gross. Okay. It was on her eyeball. It was nasty. Um, probably the first time I've ever teed up a lob wedge. <laughs> I was in between wanting to tee it up and wanting to just hit it off the grass. But uh, the tee boxes are so wet that I was certain I was going to chunk it. So we teed it up. Didn't make great contact. But it looks like we uh, might be pin high. So we got a chance. That's all we could ask for. Take a par. Good par. Take a par. Good recovery. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I thought this was gonna be a lot easier than it is turning out to be. <laughs> 
this feels like 14 strokes you gave me well i'm kind of scoring like a normal round of golf which is not good i thought i'd be at least at least two under i should have had a birdie on that last hole that was just trash the good news is we're still under par i'm one under jess is one under it's much more impressive for jess <laughs> We got some par fours coming in. The ninth is a par five, but I need to get some birdies on these par fours here. Let's go. If any of you guys watching are stuck somewhere cold and snowy, we highly recommend coming down to Mazatlan. Uh, this is probably our third time in Mazatlan, and it's definitely a different experience of Mexico than we're used to. We're definitely resort people. We like to go to all-inclusives and uh, no cooking, no cleaning, where we're staying with uh, Jess's parents in their condo. So it's a different experience, but we get to experience a lot of the local culture, which has been pretty cool. That every night there is a bar with a special on and the food is good. No one's gotten sick. You can eat all the food. Um, and it's been really fun and it's fairly inexpensive. So this round of golf here, uh, their normal rate is about $70 US. And because we were playing here for, we're down here for almost three weeks. So we just bought a 20 pack that it works out to $60 a round. And so far we've used, I think, 12 of them, 12 rounds, or between the two of us, so six rounds total. But uh, highly recommend coming down to Mazatland. It's, uh, there's really good golf. There's one course that's right by the ocean, Estrella, which is fantastic, probably the best views in Mazatland. There's another 27 hole course called El Cid, and it's uh, affiliated with a very popular all-inclusive resort. So you can definitely do the all-inclusive or you can rent a condo kind of thing, but definitely recommend coming down to Mazatland. It's been uh, hot, sunny, no wind every day, and it's, uh, it's uh, what day are we shooting? January 2nd. Can't beat this, I'll take it. I think I need my four to get there. The last time from here I hit my four and I was right at the back. I think long is okay. Yeah. I think you're better to be long than short. Heard it. Cutting at the pin. Great shot. Great. And a girl. Sit, sit. I have a look. I can't tell. It's elevated. So uh, we need a birdie. We need birdie. That was that dreaded awkward yardage. The 50 yarder, not being able to see the pin. I think I landed it right at the hole and it just uh, didn't, didn't stop. Didn't have enough time to get spin on it. We got a birdie putt though, so let's uh, try to knock it in here. Do it, do it. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Hey. Holy shit. <laughs> you guys see that? That was a bomb. <laughs> Back to two under. Three birdies. Three birdies through seven? Seven. Let's Fuck see. me. <laughs> Okay, well time done. To, time to make one. Well done. Time to make one. Oh, and he does it. Let's go. A little pressure. Wow, there's magnet in that cup. Magnet in that cup. I don't know why I'm more excited than you are. I get, <laughs> I should be getting more birdies. Three birdies through Woo. seven for Jeff. Jess, what's your handicap? Uh, an 11 right now? An 11, what a sandbagger. This sandbagger, <laughs> three birdies, an 11 cap. She did similar yesterday. We are playing in that skins game. She was one under through six. Yeah, Holy Jessica, unreal, unreal. Imagine playing a money game with an 11 handicap who had three birdies in the first seven holes. I'd be pissed. Luckily it's my wife and I'm thrilled that, uh, that she's doing that. Uh, wave to the uh, local workers. Honey, so impressive. Thank you. If you guys haven't already, smash subscribe so you can see my wife beat the living shit out of me in <laughs> virtually every golf vlog that we play. <laughs> Good for you. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. 
Somebody call domestic services because my wife is kicking the absolute shit out of me. Good joke, not really. <laughs> Sorry, I'm supposed to laugh at those, right? We figured we'd bust out the sunscreen. If we both get a birdie on the same pole, we gotta do it. Oh, that's large. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. Ugh, vodka's birdie juice. What do you guys have for birdie juice? I'm taking suggestions. We'll load up the sunscreen with anything you guys suggest. Let me know in the comments. What do you drink for birdie juice? Oh, not like that. Then the win. Then the win, baby. Get up there. Sit, Get up sit. there. Uh oh. Shit. Bunker, bunker, bunker. Did that yesterday. I literally did the exact same thing. <laughs> and that's why I was like, do I take my hybrid? Because I don't want to do that. Plugged again. Didn't think I could do that in the rough, but uh, I guess we can. Pull it out, clean it, hit it. No. Didn't stop. Go stop. Go stop. You'll go, go stop. You'll go stop. It's okay. It's okay. Go to putt. Uh, okay. I'd say. She's on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute fire. Try. Mm. Little tap in par. Wow. What a save. Daddy. Who is this girl? <laughs> That's my wife. Very nice. Unreal. I'm humbled. I'm hitting it 150 yards past her, and she's scoring better than I am. Or are we tied? I think we're both two under. That just proves it's not how far you hit it. It's how you get the ball in the hole. Short game's everything. Your I have- are almost harder. Like those little 50, 60 yards, that's not where you want to be. Those are the toughest ones. Bad course management is what yeah. she's saying. Well, I understand. I did chirp okay. you saying you had to use your driver on every hole and now I'm kind of like, mm. you want to change up that strategy. The proximity with my wedge coming into these holes is like 20 feet. <laughs> that's not very good. Last hole, ninth hole, part five. Eagle, baby, eagle. Okay guys, this is the ninth hole. I just wanna let you all know that we are gonna be playing 18, but we're gonna do it in two parts. So you're gonna have to subscribe if you don't already, turn on post notifications so you can see when we post the back nine to see how both Jess and myself finish. Can Jess stay under par and can I go deeper? You're gonna have to find out once we release the second part, but first we're gonna still play the uh, ninth hole par five with you guys. Let's go. Par five says uh, 434. So it should be a little flip wedge coming home. And would love to eagle this. Love to eagle this. Oh my God, what is it with these hybrids? I'm trying to crush it. I just hate. <laughs> That's golf, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking, what a dumb game. What a dumb game. I'm trying to hit the ball so hard. Walk me through what happened. Um, I feel like I was just trying to hit it really, really hard. I'm trying to keep up with it. It doesn't look like that. Hitting it harder can always be better. Okay. No, it stayed up. Oh. <laughs> stayed up, stayed up, stayed up. Yeah. 
I needed all of that one. I was in between clubs, went with the lesser, try to go at it, but uh, not the best. Not. I think I hit the green, and if you can hit the green in two out of par five, should be a birdie. So let's see what we can do. Hold it left. It's putting. putting. Set, set, Get in. Set. Ooh. Ooh. Do it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the heck, ball? <laughs> Shoot! Oh, I'll take a birdie. I'll take a birdie. Uh, give it a chance. That's Get good. Turn. I hit my mark. Okay. That okay. Not good. How'd you finish? Uh, that was a double. Way to fuck up nine. But you were, were you two under? One bogey, so. one yeah. bogey, three birdies. Yeah. Okay, recapping the nine. Jessica, my lovely wife, the 11 cap, had three birdies, rough double on the ninth to shoot even par. Even par for her is fantastic. I had three birdies, no bogeys. So I'm three under through nine. As I mentioned on this tee box, we are going to be splitting this up into two parts. So that's nine holes. Thank you so much for all of you guys for watching. Make sure you smash the like button and share this with anyone that you think likes uh, golf content and turn on post notifications so you can see us when we upload our back nine. See how we finish. I got uh, a good feeling about Jess. She's playing really good and I'm somewhat holding my own. So thanks again. We'll check in with you next time.